This video will cover the procedure for loading enhanced MARC records in Sitka Evergreen. Enhanced on order records include holdings information in a 970 field. This information is used by Evergreen to create line items with quantity, fund, shelving location, circulation modifier, and price information already added. This procedure begins on your vendor's website. First, you will need to create a cart and add all of the desired items to the cart. Using the drop-down menu, the library will select relevant item templates for each of the items in the cart. Once you've done that, you will download the MARC records from the, lib from the vendor's website and clear the cart. Once you've downloaded the MARC record file from your vendor website, you will need to upload it into Evergreen using the Load MARC Order Records interface. Click on Acquisitions and select Load MARC Order Records. If you've been here before, some of these settings will already be completed for you. This interface has sticky settings. If you've never been here before, make sure you check off Create Purchase Order. Do not check off Activate Purchase Order at this time. We recommend that you review your line items before you activate the order. Choose your provider from the drop-down list. Again, choose your library system or branch as the contact org unit. It may already be completed for you. Choose your fiscal year from the fiscal year dropdown, or as in this case, it's already selected. You will need to give your upload queue a new name. We recommend you give a new name to each order. The record match set should be Sitka Match, and the merge profile should be Merge Using Existing Records. You can check off Import Non-Matching Records and choose your record source from the Record Source dropdown. You can click on, you can check off Merge on Best Match when you are loading Enhanced On Order Records. Next, you will need to navigate through your computer to find the file that you downloaded from your vendor website. Click on Upload. Evergreen will load the records and create a purchase order that contains the number of copies, the fund code, shelving location, circulation modifier, and price. Depending on the size of the file, it may take a while for the uploading to finish. Once it's finished, you will see a link to the purchase order. When the upload is complete, you can click on View Purchase Order to view the order. Now, it is very important that if these two links do not show up, and sometimes it appears as though the order has stalled, um, do not try to load the order again. Instead, go to Acquisitions and select Purchase Orders, and do a search for any pending purchase orders. Um, so from the default search, just change the state to Pending, and click on Search. You can see here that we have a purchase order loaded uh, just a minute ago. This is our order, and we can click on the name to open the order. Your purchase order will open, and you can see that all of your line items have been created. If we click on Expand All, we can see that the line item details have already been completed, and a price has been entered for each of the line items. All you'll need to do is change your purchase order name. Um, many vendors have an ordering, a naming convention um, that they ask all your orders be entered as. So I'm going to change this to MPL 1114A and click OK. Now, once I've reviewed all of the line items and made sure that all of the information is correct, I can just click on Activate Order. If you're using EDI, the purchase order will be sent to your vendor automatically at this point. If your library does not currently use enhanced MARC records, please contact Cooperative Support for more information. Thank you for watching this video, and for more information, please visit the BC Libraries Cooperative website.